Hi everyone, Alex Ramirez, Chief Mortgage Advisor, coming to you with another quick tip for homeowners on loan modifications and how to fight the battle and win with your current mortgage lender. And in case you don't know what a loan modification is, a loan modification is where you can call into your current lender if you're an adjustable loan or you're falling behind in your payments due to what the economy is doing or the values and how much they've dropped where you can't refinance and they will work with you in most cases even though it's very hard and a lot of you feel like they're not working with you but they'll work with you to try to modify the terms of your current loan and reduce the payment down from where you're currently at and this would obviously help you stay in your home make things a little bit better free some some uh, monthly uh, outgo of your current uh, income to be able to stay in that home and pay the other bills that you have to pay to survive. So I want to give you some tips before you call into that mortgage lender to ask them about a loan modification. Here's a few things that you should do and have prepared before making that first initial call. Number one, you want to make a financial statement. A financial statement being a total monthly tally of all your monthly expenses that you pay for your family on an ongoing basis. And that starts off with the basics, utilities, grocery bills, uh, clothing, uh, medical, and then you have gas, you know, car payments, credit cards. You want a detailed, a detailed list of every single expense that your family goes through on a, on a monthly basis. Average it out over the past three months or so if you have some expenses that vary month to month and prepare that on a spreadsheet. You want to have it prepared because most banks will ask you these questions and go through and collect the financial statement from you before they look at a loan modification case. And if you don't have that prepared, you're going to have to call all over again. And being right now that you usually have to wait anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half in some cases, you don't want to get somebody on the phone and then have to hang up because you weren't prepared. So make sure you are making taking time to collect these items before you make a call so you can really take full advantage when you get someone on the phone and you call your, your current lender. The second thing that you want to do is prepare a hardship letter. A hardship letter is basically a one to two page, no more than two page, uh, report on why you need someone to look at your loan to modify it. And it could be obviously because of a job loss. It could be that uh, your income has gone down because your company has been affected by the economy. It could be that you're, you're in adjustable rate mortgage. You were planning on refinancing before the adjustment went up in, 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 uh, in your interest rate and your mortgage payment. But being that home values have fallen dramatically, you're not able to refinance uh, even with an FHA loan. So you want to be prepared and have a hardship letter on what the reasons are for you asking for a loan modification. And the last thing you want to do is you want to be putting aside probably about an hour to two hours to begin by calling in, waiting on hold, going through and talking to the representatives over your financial statement and your hardship letter. Let them know that you have everything prepared and ready for them to ask you the questions in order to see if you qualify for a loan modification. You also want to make sure you have your pay stubs on hand and a bank statement because they're going to probably ask you to fax that in along with your hardship letter and your financial statement if they don't take it over the phone. Uh, please be aware that this could take anywhere from 15 30 days. In some cases, some banks are taking up to 60 days. And what it really depends on is how far behind you are on your mortgage. If you're close to foreclosure, those cases are being looked at with priority over the ones that are still uh, pending to adjust on your on your adjustable loans. If you still haven't even adjusted and you're making your payments fine, you're going to take a little bit longer in time because obviously you're not in the stage of a person that's in foreclosure and they're going to sell the home in, in maybe seven days or 14 days. And that's another point I wanted to make. It doesn't matter where you are in all of this. If you're making your payments and you don't have an adjustable loan but things are tough or you're inadjustable, you haven't made your payments for three months, five months, or even if you've contacted the lender before to try to do a loan modification and you got denied and they told you they couldn't help you, you still have a chance to get help. You just need to have somebody that knows how these institutions work and what it takes to get approved. And that's where my service comes into play. I'm helping out quite a few clients right now and I'm being very successful with getting loan modifications approved. Uh, over a 90% success rate is what I have right now. That's my current track record. And it doesn't matter if you have multiple properties properties. If you've let, had to put one up on short sale and you wanted to keep it and somebody when you called the last time said they wouldn't work a uh, loan modification out for you, well that's bogus because I've had plenty of clients that called me where they were told no. They gave them the information and they still got denied. Um, they 
put in the paperwork, whatever it might be, I've still been able to turn those cases around. So I just want to tell you that from experience that I'm here to help you so that you don't lose all those mortgage payments that you've invested into your home because I truly believe that in another year or two, the real estate market's going to turn around and if you can stay in that home, you're going to be well off and you're going to make that money back and, and your investment's not just going to go down the drain and, and you, it's worth a fight. That's basically what I'm trying to say and I'm here to help you out being that I have 11 years experience. Again, I've worked for the, the number five lending company in the world and I know how some of these banks look on the inside and believe me, right now they're willing to work plans out. You'd be amazed to see the type of loan modifications that I've been able to do for clients of mine where they believed that they were going to have to lose the house into foreclosure and I've been able to make them and their families very happy and very appreciative so I'm here to help out I'm here in the community and I know what it takes so if you need some helpful tips or you have some questions and you currently have a loan modification in process please give me a call I'm more than happy to look at your case personally and take a look at what it might take for you to get approved thanks again for watching make sure you subscribe or pass this on to any friends or family that might be facing this same situation and believe me every bank will work with you it doesn't matter if your house is about to go into foreclosure tomorrow if you take the time to call and be prepared, you'll be amazed to see that they're probably going to help you stay in the home because the last thing they want to do right now is pick up more properties than they already have. So please give me a call. I'd more than happy to help you and your family stay in your home and make it affordable. That's the best thing to do right now. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Feel free to give me a call if you have any other questions. Bye for now.